What's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be filming for you a vegan stuffed bell pepper. We're headed to the gym in a little bit so we wanted to get some quick and healthy lunch in before we go out. We're going to take you through it step by step. Uh, first, we're going to show you our ingredients that we'll be using. Of course, we have stuffed. We're going to stuff the peppers. So we've got bell peppers, we've got green, you could use any color. We're going to use pre-made rice cauliflower. Of course, if you want, you can use just your own whatever, jasmine rice, brown rice, whatever your preference is, but we're gonna stay light on the carbs so we don't throw up at the gym. Uh, and then we're and, gonna- And these, and um, these you can find anywhere in the frozen section. They're at pretty much any grocery store nowadays. So it's just frozen cauliflower rice in a food processor. You can also do it yourself, just steam cauliflower and put it in your food processor. It works the same. We're just being lazy, lazy. right now. It's quick, right? Yep. Um, also being lazy, this is frozen bagged corn from Trader Joe's. Uh, we've got some canned black beans. We're doing them Southwest flavor. Um, and here is our cheese that we're going to be using. This is a vegan cheese. We got it this week actually for the first time. And cheese scares me, but her not being a vegan, she said it tastes just as good as regular cheese. So we're going to go with that. It's cashew based too, so it's a nut cheese, um, not soy or anything like And it's that. fermented, um, so they aged it like normal cheese is fermented, so it's good. And then we're using Trader Joe's Beefless Ground Beef. Of course, if you're not a vegan, you can just use ground beef, a lean turkey, or whatever your preference is. And we're going to season it with some chipotle hot sauce. And that's it. So we're going to get started. So to get started on the stuffed green peppers, we're gonna take the green peppers and just um, slice off the tops of them. So you wanna have just about a half an inch left and then we're gonna take the seeds out of them and boil them in water. So you're gonna boil them for about 15, 10 to 15 minutes, you just wanna make sure they're soft. Um, and while they're boiling, we're gonna cook, saute everything else in a pan. All right guys, so we got the uh, ground beef, ground beef, cooking along with green peppers, corn, black beans, and our peppers are almost done. They're boiling right now. Um, some seasonings we added. We added some nutritional yeast. Uh, it just gives it a cheesy flavor. And without the calories. Yes, without the calories, because we're already gonna be adding some nut cheese. We use some um, just Southwest Chipotle. Can't really see it, but it's just a Southwest Chipotle blend. Um, Chipotle chili, chili cumin, parsley, garlic, onion, carrot. That's about it. And then we also added some chopped garlic. That's optional. All this is really optional. Just up to your taste. Um, once we get, I forgot to mention that before, once you start cooking your stuff, you want to preheat your oven to 350 because once everything is done, we'll show you how to stuff them. Then we're going to pop them in the oven until everything is cooked together. The cheese is melted on top and we'll show you that in a second. So we are all set. Our stuffed peppers are out of the oven. Cheese is almost melted. The only downside to vegan cheese is it does not melt like normal cheese quite as good, but it tastes good, so it's fine. We're saving the earth too. <laughs> Anyways, we made a little bit too much because we don't measure anything we do, so we just put it in a Tupperware. You can throw some eggs on it in the morning, have it later after we get back from the gym. Clearly, we went and got dressed for the gym while our stuffed peppers were in the oven. And here we have shall be cutting it open and there you have it guys 
nice and soft. You can add a little bit more hot sauce depending on your preference. Yep, yum, soft pepper Southwest flavor. All right, so that is it for today's lunch. We're gonna head off to the gym and we'll take you guys with us. See you later. So today we are training back and biceps. We decided to change it up and for our warm up, we did this movement, which is a reverse grip barbell row straight into a bicep curl. Only difficult part with this is that your back is much stronger than your biceps. So the row was super easy while the bicep movement curl was a little more difficult. Once we finished up with those, we moved into our first superset, which was a TRX row. The closer your feet are to the pendulum, the harder the exercise is. So the more upright you are, the easier it's going to be to perform. We superset this exercise with a 21 using a barbell. You could use dumbbells as well. 21s are just seven curls halfway at the bottom and then seven from midpoint to the high point and then seven full curls. So for our next superset, we started with a plate curl and we superset them with a behind the head lat pull down using a machine. For our next superset, we did a preacher curl using the actual preacher curl setup, not single arm on a bench, and we superset this with a close grip pull to hit our middle back, and we used a foot for some extra stability. And now for our challenge of the week. Just kidding. This was just a play round. I wanted to see if Shelby could do it. She's doing the same exercise, but with no feet on the ground. She got one and a half or two reps, depending on how you look at it. So for our last superset for the workout, we did a single arm cable row and a single arm hammer curl to work on unilateral movements. So that is it for today. We are all done with our back and biceps workout. Tried to change it up for you guys once again, not do anything that we did in our last back and biceps workout. Had a little fun with it tonight. Saw Shelby's little challenge in there. It was actually kind of a terrible challenge, so I don't know if we would recommend it. Probably not. No, I don't think so. There so, was really no point to it. It was just it not wasn't. fun. No. Messing around a little bit too much today. <laughs> It's probably these pigtails that were making me feel like a child again. Yeah, Whatever. we got the braids going on today. Probably can't see mine either. They're, they're there. All right, anyways, that was it for today. We hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, give us a thumbs up. Comments and, below. And don't forget to sub <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> All right, good night, guys. Sorry, we need to, we need to go get we're some done. food. We're done.